here again uh, in this new video. I will talk a little bit again about decision making, artificial intelligence, and life, what we do in life and decisions. When we look at decisions and regrets, we have to consider different topics. First of all, how do we make decisions? What is the basis of decision making? We may regret certain decisions based on new information, things we didn't know, things we found out later. We have to, or we can identify specific points in time where we made a decision which had, in fact, an impact on the things that we are doing. These are crossroads in whatever we do in our life and in all the actions and decisions we make where we could have gone into a different direction. We look also again at what we call the objective functions. How do we use them and what are they? But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's now continue with the basis of decision making. Decisions are made by people based on a combination of emotions, subjective and objective points. We have different elements. We can influence our decisions or our decisions can be influenced depending on our emotional state. We may have some subjective evaluation parameters of subjective elements that we are thinking about. And there are also objective points. We have to look at all the combinations that we can see. So we're making decisions on those different elements. We can make business decisions on specific metrics. Uh, we call those decision-making models that we can use, and AI can help us with decision-making, for example. But we also have to look at certain other parameters where business people are making certain decisions. We can make those looking at emotions and sometimes what people call a gut feeling. If it doesn't feel right, you should not do it. The AI applications and the agents, they don't have these subjective elements, at least not at this moment. Perhaps in the future they may have more subjective ways to take decisions, but at this moment they don't have them. And decisions typically in those agents or by those agents are made, are based on an optimization of several parameters or percepts. What do we absorb? Uh, sorry, what do we observe? What are the elements that I know from before? What is the knowledge that I have? How will I use all these parameters to make a specific decision? When we look at regretting decisions, we, or you may remember that you've made decisions in the past, that gave you a wrong result, you made the wrong decision, and we all have those, we make decisions based on certain parameters. Can we regret? Well, uh, yes, but basically we cannot do anything about it. We don't know if uh, another uh, decision would have given us a better outcome. Right? Sometimes it just doesn't work out, and regretting a decision we made before will not necessarily help us to have a better uh, outcome. We cannot go back to the future. Now, the elements are about taking the or making the optimal decision. And the optimal decision is always made with the information that is available at the moment of decision making. We may have not had all parameters. Some information may have been hidden. We may have made some assumptions about the future, which basically don't turn to be correct. I may say, okay, I will buy lotto. I expect to win 1 million euro. Uh, well, the probabilities are very low. My assumption to win is not there. So, we made a decision, we had wrong assumptions, we had wrong ideas about what could happen. Anyway, there are a lot of elements that could make us regret decisions, but
but basically we should not look at those, certainly not when we are looking at artificial intelligence, the decision is made at a specific moment, at a specific decision point, and we may have there a um, split of different timelines. If we have different decisions at a specific point, the time, the future may be different. And when you look at an old movie, Back to the Future 1, 2 and 3, you can see that there are some points in the past where a decision was made and they created alternative timelines. Unfortunately, we cannot travel through time yet, perhaps later, we don't know. Uh, people said we could not go to the moon and Earth was flat and look at what we are doing today. So basically we can say that uh, these points can be very important and basically we cannot go back to the point. We don't know if the point or the result we would get there would be better, yes or no. We can find all those moments in life. I remember the moment uh, my uncle asked me to uh, work for him uh, in China and I said no. I took another future. What would have happened with my future if I would have been working in China? All kinds of elements that we have. Uh, we cannot identify which solution would have been better, what would have been the improvements what would have been the advantages? What would have been the negative elements? An important element when we're making decisions is the objective function. It's typically an equation based on different parameters, and we are looking at the effectiveness of the selection we make. We try to find the best selection based on that equation, based on those parameters. I already mentioned the example before in linear programming. We typically look at optimizing profits or costs, eh? maximizing profits, minimizing costs. But there are different objective functions that we can find. We can find different parameters and we will see that there are different optimization techniques that we will discuss further in this course in the following videos and the following lectures. We can finish the part here. Let's look at some conclusions. Like humans, artificial intelligent agents must make decisions based on the person they receive. We get information. The AI agent gets information. And based on that information, we make decisions. The goal of the agent is very important because defining the goal will also provide us with information about the objective function. What objective function do we have to uh, use? What are the parameters? How will we evaluate this? When we look at the decisions at specific times, we make them always only with the information that is available. Regretting decisions, well, it's basically not relevant, certainly not with an AI system. We've made a decision. We look at the results and we see what is going on, how can we improve, but once a decision has been made, the path has been selected. We can find those decision points, but it's important to learn from what we can do better the next time. And basically all decisions are made, are based on objective functions. Objective functions provide us with information about the effectiveness of the solution that we have selected. So that was it. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So that was it for this new lecture. Anyway, we will be looking forward to seeing you in the following lectures. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, and bye-bye.